Hi everyone, I'm Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, and today we're going to be talking about Hourglass's new Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, which is $80, and this is new for holiday 2015. Yeah, it's a little weird to be talking about holiday and sitting here in short shorts. It's almost 100 degrees here in Northern California today where I live, but hey, we're going to go with it. Um, so this is a new limited edition product, and what we've got here are two blushes, one bronzer, three lighting powders, and and three lighting powders, including a completely new powder, which is the shade right here. All of these are supposed to work together seamlessly to create a luminous, multi-dimensional look of the skin that doesn't look flat um, and appears lit from within, which I think is always a lovely thing. I strive for it all the time. I don't know if I get there, but hey, maybe this will help me? We'll see. So basically this is designed to give you everything you need in a single palette um, for your skin. So there's a powder powders that you can use to set your makeup and to finish your makeup to brighten your complexion to contour and to highlight and This is also supposed to enhance skin in all types of light from natural light to flash photography and um, This palette of colors is supposed to be universally flattering as well So so it should work across all skin tones at least that's the idea So the big news here is this new shade in the center um, it's called Iridescent Strobe Light, and basically it's a rosy pearl powder, and it's a new ambient lighting powder, and it's designed to mimic the um, how strobe lights capture and affect light on the face. So you can basically use this as a highlighter or a setting powder. Um, if you want it for a more intense highlight, you can apply it wet, but you can also use it dry. So this is similar. This shade happens to be similar to um, Hourglass's Mood Light Ambient Powder, which is from their permanent collection. I have that right here. It's a sheer lavender shade. But I think that Iridescent Strobe is slightly warmer and more pearly. And for comparison, this is Iridescent Strobe Light. No, wait. My bad. This is Mood Light. And this is Iridescent Strobe Light. So the other two ambient lighting powders, these are two re-promoted shades. So this is... Um, dim light, a neutral peachy beige that's supposed to blur imperfections, and you can also use it as a highlighter. And then this is diffused light, which is a soft, warm, pale yellow that conceals redness and works as a highlighter as well. So we've got, um, what have we got here? This is dim light. I've kind of built out the swatch, built up the swatches so you could see it on my skin. And then this is um, the new shade, Iridescent Strobe Light, and this is Diffused Light, the soft, warm, pale yellow. There are two blushes in this palette located right here, and they're both re-promotes. The first is um, Luminous Flush, a champagne rose blush blended with Luminous Light Ambient Powder for a candlelit glimmer. And then this one is Mood Exposure Blush. A soft plum fused with Mood Light Ambient Powder for brightening the complexion. And then the bronzer in this, while well, I'm at it, is also a re-promote. Luminous Bronze Light, a medium tan with Luminous Light for soft candlelit warmth. And here are the swatches. This is Mood Exposure. This is Luminous Light. And this is the bronzer shade. So the first thing about this palette that I noticed was that kind of surprised me was how dainty it was. I mean, it, it looks pretty hefty, right? So here's the packaging and you open it up and inside there's a mirror, which I'm covering because there's a lot of lights in here and I don't want to blind you. So um, when I first saw the promo pics on Instagram, I think it was on the Space MK, Space MK <laughs> um, website, not website, but Instagram feed. And the palette itself looked pretty big, and I just assumed that it would be, the, the pans would be the same size as the um, ambient blush and ambient lighting trios, which I have right here. Like, this is the ambient blush trio, and for comparison, this is the ambient lighting edit palette. And as you can see, the uh, pans in the trio are bigger. These pans are 0.116 ounces per pan, with, while the lighting edit has 0.0. 0 0.049 ounces per pan. I mean, I think it would have been super cool like if the pans in here were actually like just as big as this one, then that way you could have like a huge palette. But you know, at the same time, I do have to say that with these powders, a little goes a long way and they like basically last me forever. <laughs> um, I use like a certain, certain shades often, like this shade, Luminous Flush. And 
I, I go through phases where I use this like for weeks on end and I've barely made a dent in this pan. So, you know, I think that even though the powders are slightly smaller, you still will get a lot of wear out of what you have in here. So I've used all the re-promoted shades in this palette um, and the new shade too. And I think that overall it's a beautiful palette. The thing with the ambient blushes and bronzers and powders is that you have to like a certain type of shine or shimmer. I would call it more like a low level sheen rather than like a high shine mirror shine. So if you're like a girl who is into, I don't know, like the MAC mineralized skin finishes, which are like really intense or like, um, what are they called? Becca shimmering skin perfectors. The, the finish on these may not be shiny enough for you. I mean, I like them because I have kind of a big pore situation. And when I put like metallics or really high shine powders on my skin, they tend to amplify the pores, but these powders don't. And I think that they're very forgiving, especially on um, more mature skin. And I like how they look both in real life and in pictures. I do have to say that with this bronzer, Luminous Bronze Light, um, it helps to use a very light hand and a big fluffy brush to apply it to the skin. When I first started using this and when it first came out, I felt a little so-so about the bronzers because I think that I was using too dense of a brush and I was going in too heavy handed and my skin I felt looked, looked, looked kind of muddy. And I like more of that golden sort of like bathed in light California girl flush. And you can get there with this product, but you just need a big fluffy brush that kind of um, spreads out and allows the product to like go across larger areas of the skin. Okay, let's see what else. Um, everything else in this palette I think is easy to use. The blushes, the ambient lighting powders, which you can, I think I mentioned earlier, both function as both setting powders and highlighters. Um, right now I'm wearing Dim Light, the shade right over here all over my face. And then I used um, a mix of these two to highlight. And then I bronzed with the bronzer and I mixed these two on my cheeks. I like that all the products are multi-use and that they're designed to be worn with each other, but yet you can use them separately. So I guess in general, I can't say in enough good things about these powders. I think that they're really great. And I think that this palette in particular is really, really great for gals or guys who are new to the brand and haven't had the chance to pick up any of the trios or the products, the pans, the individual pans, which are sold um, individually. Sorry, I just swatted like something. There's like cat hair all over the place. I have this towel on this desk and Tabs has gotten this habit of jumping onto this desk and sleeping on this towel when I'm not using and using it, using it for filming. And it's like, it's so cute when he sits here, but like at the same time, I'm like Tabs, why do I have to shed all over the place? Anyways, tangent. Um, anyways, okay. What I was saying was, okay, if you have been collecting the brand, the Hourglass um, products for a while, you may probably already have many of these shades in your collection. So, I mean, you know, if you already have them, you may not need this palette or but you may want it if you travel a lot and you want something a little bit more compact or maybe you're running low and you just want to restock. Um, if you were perhaps into really excited about this because of the new shade, you might want to slow your roll because it's very similar to Mood Light. I mean, it's the difference is really subtle. You have to be looking very closely in order to tell. Anyways, availability. So this is coming out September 10th through the, through the 22nd at Sephora.com. It's, it's, uh, why is the word escaping me? For a VIB Rouge preview, meaning that you have to be VIB Rouge in order to check it out and buy it. After September 22nd, it becomes open to everyone else in on Sephora.com. On October 9th, it launches at Sephora stores and at hourglass counters at Barney's, Bergdorf Goodman, Nordstrom Space NK, Canyon Ranch Blue Mercury, the Hourglass store on Abbott Kinney, and online at all the other places, including Net-A-Porter and HourglassCosmetics.com. So this is a beautiful palette, and you guys have a lot to look forward to this holiday. And um, yeah, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.